Welcome, welcome. This is our 2024 Lamborghini Huracan Technica. This is the LP642, so 640 horsepower, naturally aspirated 5.2 litre V10 engine with 640 brake horsepower. Two standing for the two driven wheels, the rear wheel drive, as opposed to the four. So loads of fun to be had if you love a rear wheel drive supercar. And just look at it. Lamborghini have gone to town and this particular specification is insane. Listing at, let me see, what was it? 270,000 pounds with the options. You've got around 30,000 pounds of options, including full carbon fiber bonnet with those lovely strakes to help with the airflow, direct the airflow. You've also then got the carbon fiber rear, as you can see there, with the V10 badge sunk into the carbon, lovely glossy carbon fiber. Through that, you can see the glass engine bay cover with our lovely Lamborghini black painted cam covers for that V10 engine. This has got the Verdi Mantis paint colour option, about £7,000, and it gives you this wonderful pearlescent green triple layer pearl, as you can see there. This is a January 24 car, so it's six weeks old. These wheels were another £7,000 option, finished in gloss black with centre lock caps and satin black you've got those huge carbon ceramic brake discs with those huge Lamborghini black calipers Bridgestone Potenza tires obviously brand new just those wing mirrors are a piece of art just in the just them themselves look at the design the way they flow and cut the air to aid with aerodynamics then you've got the air intakes in the back, directing flow into the engine bay and the same on top of the rear wings. At the back here, the same again, we've got the huge gloss black alloy wheels wrapped in Bridgestone rubber. And we can see there, if you can read upside down, 305, so 305, millimeter wide 20 inch wheels so huge tires on those as you can see there and this whopping great wing on the back that just finishes off the rear of the car tremendously it just looks like it's supposed to be there doesn't it you've got the gloss black lamborghini as part of the style package as well you've got the reversing camera and then you've got these lovely hexagon shaped tailpipes in satin black. Again, a lovely option to have. Beneath that, you've got the parking sensors and the full rear diffuser painted to match the rest of the car. And those lovely fighter jet style LED tail lamps at the back. What a wonderful machine this is. A work of art. Let's just admire that for a moment. We stand back. Beautiful profile that slices through the air. Lamborghini have improved the design on the Technica compared to the standard Huracan with all these additional, with all these additional air diffusers or air direction devices built into the front bumper now which the previous ones don't have and the other models don't have it looks fantastic the rest of it's all pure lamborghini huracan as you've seen before which hasn't changed that much since 2014 let's face it just nice tweaks here and there Huge windscreen that obviously directs airflow over the car. 
You can see there the Alcantara pad on the dash. Let's have a look inside. We pop open this door. We're greeted by swathes of Alcantara and Verdi Mantis green leather. Beautiful place to be now. These seats alone, these sports seats in carbon fiber, these were a 7,000 pound option. They've got the Lamborghini embroidered into the headrest with the green piping and stitching as well. Looks wonderful, feels wonderful, it smells like brand new in here. You've got the seat adjusters there and to the front and here right in the middle. Lovely, lovely. A, just the seats alone in my, in my view, a work of art. Technica there embroidered into the bolsters. Beneath or behind, I should say, here you've got all this Alcantara as well. Everything's finished in Alcantara. These floor mats were another option with the Verdi Mantis leather piping and edging. And, and, and again, the stitching as well. You've got the aluminium driver's footrest and pedals. And the whole car, you can see here, the top of the dash finished in the black leather with the green stitching. Beautifully done. And the same underneath, you've got the green leather Verdi Mantis again to match the exterior. What a lovely, lovely machine. Let's get inside. The door itself finished again in black Alcantara with the green leather. It's very, you can see I'm feeling it because it's just a lovely, lovely thing to feel really nice quality. It covers all the door as well. So you've got no plastic at all. Everything, even this, in, the interior, this door pocket is finished in the Alcantara. The rest of it's pure Lamborghini. I mean, we've got a 2014, sorry, 2016 Hurricane Spider in. The rest of it's exactly the same. You've got the mirror controls, door. I mean, very much Audi, isn't it? Audi R8, Lamborghini Huracan. You'll be very familiar with the controls if you've had one of these before in a previous model iteration. In the centre, you've got 12 volt socket. You've got USB there. This armrest. Quite small but functional. The handbrake, engine start, stop, as you can see, it's the same in all the Hurricanes. Reverse part manual. And obviously these newer models, they've got this screen in the middle. You can see there with the Lamborghini ghosting in the screen. Um, that's all for the new model, much better than the previous system that used to just be a load of buttons and everything was on the screen. Uh, the rest of it is, again, the same as before. So you've got your flappy paddles, your controls on the steering wheel, that's your cruise control. And that controls what's displayed on each side of the screen. And then you've got your, your, your indicators, um, light flashes or, or, or uh, flashing headlights, uh, wipers, etc. And then you've got the Strada Sport and Corsa adjustment here. Um, the headlining in this is actually just standard fabric. So not anything special. Um, but, you know, still, you don't really notice that when you see everything else in the cabin finished so beautifully. You know, the style pack gives you that gloss black and the branding pack gives you the Lamborghini logo. Everything the car came with, obviously the car's brand new, is here, as it should be. And I imagine the rest of it's underneath the front bonnet, which is the, the frunk, as they call it. Let's start it up anyways. Enough talking. Flick up the red switch and let's hit the go button. Lovely new display there, a million times better than the previous Huracans. Full tank of fuel, thank you Lamborghini of course. You can see here you've got the front lift, windows, etc. And then this new screen which gives you a wealth of information and control that you didn't have before uh, in the older car. So you can see your telephone, you've got your navigation there. Obviously, you can connect your phone. You can then mess about with the vehicle settings such as lights, wipers, etc., etc., rain sensors, etc., etc. It goes on and on. Phone apps. You can mess about with the sound system, of course, and then things like your media, uh, etc. Telemetry is great if you're going to drive on a track, I guess, um, but not something I'd be doing in a in a car like this. You've got some additional storage. I don't know if you can see underneath here where I'm putting my finger, my hand, sorry. If you can see there, 
there's actually a Lamborghini cup holder or cigarette holder, whatever you want to call it. Is it an ashtray actually? Yeah, same as in the Audi. So that's an ashtray. Not that you'd use it because you won't be smoking in here, but there you go. Now you can see here if we change, same as previous Lamborghinis, if we change this to sport, straight away you can hear the tone change. The dash changes as well. I mean the noise on that. Jesus! Corsa obviously doesn't change much from uh, sport in terms of sound, but of course gives you less driving aids and more driver skill. That's it folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, look forward to taking your calls on this uh, particular car. And we'd love to put together a finance package together with our ceramic and tracker for you. Just give us a call and we'll go through it all with you over the phone. Thank you very much for watching, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.